Hello everybody, welcome back. In our last tutorial we went ahead and uh, created this, you know, create a new post view and added all the functionality to it. Now we need to create an edit view. You can see we don't have anything right here. So let's go ahead and change that. If we go into our edit.blade.php, you can see it's pretty much the same as it was. So in the create video, so we're just going to blast through this and go over the edit function or the edit view. So just like before, we're going to do a form open. Except for this time, we're going to target a post variable. So it's going to grab the post. Okay. Next, we're going to grab an array also. Throw an array, actually. And in this array, we're going to have the method, which is going to be patch. I've never tried put and put, but I know that patch works. So patch. Next, we need to have the route that we're going to send this to, send this through. So this is going to be route array. And it's going to be posts.update since we're using the update method for our post model. Post update and the value we're going to pass through is we're going to pass through the post ID. So post ID. And we have all three. They're good. And we're not. So, yeah, wherever we're updating something, we always have to use the patch method, which is here. And then we're going to send through this route an array to the route an array, which is going to be a posts.update, which is down here. So if you go down to posts.update, this is what it's going to send through. And it's going to update the value of the up ID here is going to be this ID here. So the post ID. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to copy and paste in this errors. Uh, it's the same errors that we used on this index, this create.blade.php. So I'm just going to grab this, copy it, and paste it into the edit. So if there's any errors. Next, we're going to say form. Actually, we need to open the parentheses first. Actually, let's go ahead and get rid of this stuff here. Next, we're going to have a form label. And we're going to do the same thing with the last thing. We're just going to copy and paste all the stuff we need. So we'll start off here first with title. And its value is going to be title. Just like it was in create. Next it's going to be form. And it's going to be text. Its name is going to be title. However, in this we're going to change it up. We're going we're gonna to pull back in the input, the old input. So, the old input, the key is actually going to just be title. And then we're not going to use anything else. So, we can get rid of that. Next, we're going to have an array. And of course, we're going to have what we usually have a class. And it's going to be form control. And we're going to have the HTML file placeholder. So, placeholder. Needs to be placeholder, and we're just going to say, please insert your post title here. Okay. So what that's so we're actually going to pull in our old title, and then we can edit that and change it. So now let's just grab this. I'm going to copy it and put it down here in this control group. This will be for the body. So the body of the post. Uh, mm, well, how, uh, I can't remember how to do it. There we go. It's been a while since I've actually used this. So Body. So 
to say of course this is going to be body and the class is going to be CK editor this needs to be a text area and we can get rid of the placeholder so we just have that next we're going to go ahead and add our meta description and meta keywords so this is going to be meta description mm. description I'm just going to say meta description just to, for brevity. And this is going to be in description. In description. <coughs> and we're going to say insert or optional. description we're going to do the same thing and we're just going to say keywords so m keywords this one's going to be I'm just going to say keywords here keywords title it's going to be keywords Say this is keywords. And we get rid of this. Next, we just need to submit the form. So, form submit. And we're just going to say update. And go ahead and capitalize it. And we'll have an array. Class of button. And it's going to be button. What do I want to make this button success? And we need a way to cancel in case we don't want to update it. So we're going to say link to route. And it's going to go back to post.index. And so it's going to be cancel. Yeah, there needs to be in parentheses, but cancel, not passing through anything, and we're going to make that an array, a class of button also, and that button is going to be, of course, a button warning, and last but not least, we need to go ahead and close it, so, form, close, and save it and that should be all. Now if we go back and go back to posts here and we click edit see if we get any errors and we went form builder open must be a type array object given called in. Okay that's an easy fix. So if we go back out to here I made my mistake is we didn't actually call the model and see this is what this first parameter is actually the model, so we need to save model. So that was my mistake, I'm sorry for that. So if I hit Control S now, go back out and I refresh. There we go. So here's that. If you if I hit cancel now and I just go back out, you see title is this is an updated post, this is the body of our updated post. Click edit, and I can change this. <coughs> this is an edited up this is an edited post, we'll just say that post and we'll see this body has been edited and we'll just add this edits and we'll just add edits as a keyword so edits and we'll just update and boom there we go next we're going to go ahead and handle this preview and that will be in the next video